So hi everyone. Okay. Uh, so my name is Martin, and I'm gonna present you the. So I'm. Yes, working. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna talk about uh, the Dunita project project and uh, the labor on money. Yeah, sure. And what we call we don't like to use free money, so we use labor money. Uh, so the live money concept with it, which is something that has a strong mathematical background. So I'm going to pass this one because I don't have a lot of time. So as I said, the, um, the, I, I will cut this presentation in half talking about the theory, and the other half will be talking about the, the concrete project that is going on in France, mostly in France right now. Uh, around this idea. So the, the background we we have is is a, a discovery that has been made by a French mathematician called Stéphane Dabor. In in 2010, he wrote the relative theory of money, which is a very scientific approach of the problem of money. And I really advise you to to get to know more about this topic because it's really interesting. And the goal of, the, of this theory is, try to, uh, is trying to apply the, the concept of relativity to the money itself. And the goal of it is trying to find uh, an invariant object, so a mathematical object that, that could be invariant and that could allow us to, to, to have um, like an, an invariant object inside our economy. So to, under to understand the, this theory, uh, I'm going to talk about very basic things, but an economy is made of people, firstly, of human beings, and human beings have one characteristic that they have a limited life, so, and uh, humanity is a flow. So it's very important to, to take this into account when you try to build a new money system, that, the, that there is always new generation coming, for example, in red you see the life of one person, in blue the life of another person, and it's really important to understand that we have this flow. And apart from that, an economy is composed of economical value, objects, that these people at these times are sharing, are exchanging, and that's what is, what is an, an economy basically. But in this, <coughs> in this column here, everything's changed, all the objects change when, when the times change, there is new technology coming up. And in the future, we don't know what we are going to produce. So trying to base a money on anything else, on any object, on goals, on everything, it cannot be compatible with this understanding of the human flow and the fact that an economy should be made for humans and not for objects. So, so the, the theory itself tried to focus on this understanding of what is a humanity and we, we can see humanity as a waterfall where every drops is a human being and everyone has a limited time in on earth and when you see a, a waterfall from a distance you have something that's not variating so much is the, the, the height it corresponds to the life expectancy so i talk about that and now i'm, I'm trying to to make a very very short simplification of the theory itself and um, Understanding that hu humanity is a, is a flow, we have, to, we have to understand that if we agree on this sentence that all human beings are free, are born free and equal in rights, it means that no drops in the waterfall should, should be privileged regarding money creation compared to another, to another drop. And this sentence has to be understood in space. So for example, if we decide to create money, I should create five, you should create five, you should create five, we should create the same amount. When you translate it, mathematically speaking, you have this equation, but this, uh, this sentence has to be understood as well in time. So the, the drops in the future has to create money like the other. More precisely, they have to create the same relative part of money than the others. And this is the signification, the, the meaning of this equation. So, so in time, we have to create money all the time. So with this, these two equations, when you solve it, you have the, the shape of the, how the money, the global money grows. So it's, uh, it's an expon exponential, so we will see it after. And the second consequence is that every time you make the money grow, everyone creates the same amount of money. 
So this is what we call in the Libre Money the universal dividend. And the universal dividend, it's like a basic income by money creation itself. But we don't like to, I mean, in this project, we don't like to call it uh, basic income because it's, it does not come from somewhere. It's because you're alive that you're creating money like everyone else. And this object, is, it's a mathematical object, so it's the part of money that everyone creates equally. So every time you make the, the money mass grow, you divide it by the number of people, and you have this, this, uh, you have this, this uh, universal dividend. And the, everything's changed because the, the, ma the, the money creation is equal. You can then express all the prices in relative value. It means that you can express it in the number of DU. So if you, if you because we are creating the same DU each, each year, for example, when I express the price, I can rather express it in quantitative value. So for example, 1,000 something or a number of the DU I'm creating like everyone else, so like for example, 150 DU. And it makes a lot of it, uh, um, a big difference. So everyone in this, in this community creates the same amount of money. So uh, now we have to find C, which is a constant that, um, that has to be calculated. And it's calculated thanks to those equations. And here you have EV, it's like a life expectancy that we saw previously. And thanks to that, you, we, have, we, we can calculate a C of 10% per year. So we make the, the global money mass grow at 10% a year in an economy where the life expectancy is 80 years, like in Europe. So in here it will be, we, we, we will make the money, the money grow by, by 10% a year, according to those equations. I don't enter in the details because so it, the, the fundamental result of the, of the theory is that a Libre money is possible and a Libre money is created equally by everyone by a universal dividend. So um, I, I'm going to make an example for you to understand the, the behavior of this kind of money and the fact that we can express the price differently in quantitative value or in relative value. So uh, when you look at the, the money mass globally, so it's an exponential as we saw previously. So we will imagine that this amount of money is the circle and we're gonna make it grow. So let's take a, a random example. So it's, I take just like random situation. So this is the account of everyone. So there is a different people, you see. Um, so there is all this color that has this amount of money. So quantitatively, it's the size of the of the circle. <coughs> Sorry, and there is four other people that have the black, the rest of the black. So uh, so now we're gonna create money according to the to the equation we saw before. So ah, first, sorry. So you can express the price in quantitative or in relative value. So here I put the the percentage that that everyone has relatively to the to the to the global money mass. And we will see the behavior after. So now we make a jump of uh, 12 years because one year it, it will be too thin. It's, it's more visual to, to, sh to show it like this. So when, when, when you jump uh, 12, 12 years later, you make the money grow, grow the money must grow by uh, 250%. So the, the, this money that has been created, there are eight people, so we split it in eight. So equal parts, and one part is called the UD, the universal dividend. That's what is the UD. So we give one part to everyone. So this is the new situation. And when you look at the, so everyone quantitatively has created money, but relatively, the, um, the percentage of each one, the relative part of money that each one has, start to uh, converge. We will see it after more clearly. So now, um, yeah, so now their Dede is dying. So Dede just died. So he stopped, he, he, he stopped to create money. And at the same time, Anna arrives. So again, we make a jump of 12 years, same thing. And we split in eight, because there's still eight. And the UD is the, the part that everyone receives. But you see here, the UD is bigger than the universal dividend 12 years before. And it makes an importance because when, when we express the prices 
in the liberal money, we can use it, the, you, we, you can express it quantitatively or in function of the number of du. So we give one part to everyone. And so when you look at the three situations, you see that, the, that everyone created money all the time, except from the day here he didn't create money between the two because he just died before. Um, <coughs> so what you see, what you see here on the curve is the different, uh, the different moment we saw. So the first one, the second one, and the last one. So when you express n here, you express it relatively. So in percent, because um, when you see that you create money all the time, any economist would say you, yeah, it's a shitty money because it, it's good. It will lead to a big inflation. But as the money is created equally, very equally in space and in time, you have, when you express it relatively, you have a very different behavior. And the behavior is that the, the money converge to the average money mass. So the average money mass per person, sorry. Uh, yeah. well, so in, in, the, in this money, we don't express it in percentage, but we express it in the number of du. I don't have really, really the time to explain, but it's exactly the same thing to, to, to see it as a percentage or to see it as a, as a number of du. It's the same curve. You will ob ob obtain exactly the same thing. And when you, you twist the, the equation we saw before, the average money mass, the, the global money mass divided by the number of people, relatively is always 10 UD, 10 UD. And when you, when you see that, you see that you have the conversions to the average money mass. So the behaviors that comes with this kind of system is very, very different from the system we have today where the richest can, can accumulate and gain more power. Here, if you are rich and you store this, the, the amount of money you have, your money is going to be diluted in a, in a growing money mass where the, and you're going you're gonna to lose this influence with the time. So it's very interesting because it leads to, uh, it leads to a convergence all the time. Uh, so after, it's the same thing. When, so I, I, only, I only talk about the money creation, but then the money circulates like in every economy. And when you express the price, for example, here is a transaction someone wants to, to buy the bike here. So there is an, a transaction, an exchange. And this exchange is the same thing. It's all, you can express it in, in quantitative value, so 1,000, or in relative value. I pay with the relative part of the global money mass. So um, I think, yeah. So accord, uh, based on this theory, so uh, it was very quick, but uh, <laughs> if you want to have more information, I would have, I'd be happy to explain more. Uh, thanks to this theory, the first liberal money has been, the, so the first liberal money of the history has been launched in, uh, in uh, March 2017 uh, in France mostly. So it's called La Jeune en français, uh, G1, La, La Jeune, so the first. And uh, so this is the logo here. And what you see here, it's a visualization of the, of the web of trust. So the web of trust is here to, to, to ensure that there is just per person uh, only one account that is creating money. So to enter in the system, uh, in this system we are creating a UD per day. We are creating a 10 June per day. It's one, one UD per day. So one UD equals, uh, one, um, equals uh, 10, D, 10 June right now. But it's going to change, but right now, uh, 1 UD equal 10 G. And to start to create money like, like uh, everyone, you have to be uh, certified and enter in this web of trust. You have to be certified by five exist existing members. So that's how we, we make sure that uh, there is no civil attack or we can detect the civil attack and everything. So this is the this is a visualization of, of the of this web of trust. So um, so how it works technically? So we have the, the core of the money is called uh, Dunitel, which is the blockchain. So it's a completely independent independent blockchain. Um, so this blockchain, of course, contains the equation we saw previously, 
and that's how the money is, is uh, automatically generated on the different accounts by this equation we saw before. So this is the, the, the blockchain that which, which uh, deal with the certification, the transaction and everything. And after we have uh, the Cesium, which is an application that can communicate with the blockchain to, to do transaction, to do the certification, and to, to allow the, the different user to, to use as to use as a money. So it's a very simple app to use. It's very, very intuitive. And it's really interesting. And so you can check your account on this on this application. And thanks to these tools, uh, now in France mostly there is a so it's all free software. All this Unita or Sensum is all based on free software. And thanks to this tool, right now in France we have a growing economy, uh, a little money economy. So we have a lot of events, especially in my in my in my region in the southwest. So there is a lot of, of activity, so, so, so we call it Apero or G Market, where we sell goods and services in using this money we, that we are creating every day. And that's, and that's basically how the, the, the value of the, of the G1, of La Jeune, take, like the, every day the, 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 the La Jeune takes more value because there is more and more goods and services that are that are being ex exchanged in this in this currency. So so there is a that's how you you but to to enter yeah I mean, sorry and what you have here it's like a, it's like a platform on the internet it's called Jechange to to put the seller and the buyer in contact. So that's how technically it works. Yeah, I, I almost finished. Like <coughs> so here is just on on Cesium the. The, um, the page where you, you can certify people and, and, uh, and see who, who, have, who have certified you. But on this system, we, we have a license and we agree to, to certify only the people that we know in the physical world, that, that we know in real and that we know enough to be able to contact them in case, in case of need. So this is like the certification. So this is an extract, an extract of my account. And you see here, you have the two expression of the money, so in UD or in uh, in, June, in G1. And right now, the universal dividend I create every day, it's one, one UD or 10.04 June. So that's the quantitative and that's the relative. And the same here. But it's the same, but when you express it relatively, it, it comes with all the behavior we saw before, which are more interesting to see. And after that, so I, I, I use it quite a lot in, in Toulouse, in, in my town, to buy a musical instrument, chocolate cake, uh, travel to, to Paris. And people give me money because I, I do some presentation on, like this um, on different villages around, around my town. So it's, 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 it's really something that is concrete now. And, and, and there is uh, more and more people coming every day to, to start to, to use this money and that's how the, the economy grows and, and little by little we are getting more independent from the, from the euro and from other kind of currency. Um, yeah, so this is also my account with the moment I buy things and I get paid and when I do nothing, you see every day it, it rises a little bit. It's the, it's the universal dividend every day. Uh, yeah. So also, the, not everything is transparent because there is everyone creates the same amount of money. So you can know in real time how many, what is the, the actual money mass, uh, how many people there is in the system. So right now you, we are almost at at one thousand six hundred people. And uh, so we will see it after, I think. And so this is the this is the web of trust. So this is a visualization. Uh, the arrow you see in black is the certification between the people, and the spot is every. It, it's a member. The fact that there is a bigger spot is because they have more certification. It doesn't mean that they, they create more money, but it, does, it just means like it's just a visualization to show that this guy, for example, has more certification. Um, so this is the rule of the of the web of trust. So I, I'm not going to enter into the details. But there is like a maximum distance between the between the, the different member of the of the, the web of trust. 
So, so that's why the, the, the money, the, the web of trust cannot grow very, very fast because we have to, we have to, we have to, uh, <coughs> to make sure that the people need, know each other and they are close enough to each other thanks to this, to this uh, web of trust. So this is like the geographical uh, representation of the different members. And um, so there is now members mostly in, in France in the south, but there is starting to be members in Belgium, in, the, in Denmark, in, in the Netherlands, and in Switzerland a little bit. And so, yeah, I finished basically. So to go further, if you, yeah, you, you can you can talk to me later about this. You, you can take a picture. I have it on on my on a paper, and so don't care. And uh, so just just to finish, I think that the, the if you are interested to the to the basic income topic, I think the theory itself to read you can read the theory. It's really important to 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 have this approach um, to understand more what is really uh, money and. And yeah, basically, so thank you very much. Thank you.